Hello guys, it's been a week off. Apology for that, it's just due to a lot of things, mainly because of my skin condition. I don't know whether it's because I've done too many makeups or try out too many different things in one go. So my skin has been broken down and you know, now you still can see it causes so many acne and spots just all come up in one go. So I couldn't actually do anything and it's really, really not presentable in front of the camera. <laughs> and now my skin recovered uh, halfway through. So lovely to see you guys again. Today's video is mainly to share my few uh, nice things that I used in past few months actually and I really really feel worth it to recommend it to you guys. Keep watching, you'll find something you may be interested. First the one is this thing. I don't actually know what's this official name in English because it's in Chinese. It's called Gua Sha Ban. So if you know Chinese, then you know what I'm talking about. It is a device, by the way. <laughs> It's just a circle, very simple, straightforward, and this is the um, brand name Zida. Zida. It is designed for kind of a help circulation. You go over the occupoint, and then to really help your blood circulation, and especially like in hot summer, if it's very humid outside, you feel somewhere blocked on your body, you use this heat up and kind of just go over the area, let it soften, feel more relaxed. And you also can use on the face to actually reduce the puffiness. What I absolutely love is the function on the face. It's just so nice to use. It is chargeable and the battery lasts very well. There is no complications in terms of using it. And then here's the um, power, you turn it on. First one, you choose uh, how much you want to be heated. I normally choose two. And then next, you choose the model. It just goes to vibrate. Then you choose how much you want to be vibrated. I just choose number one. And then wait it for a while, let the stone, it because it's natural stone, so it's not instantly heat. Uh, you do need to wait for about 30 seconds. What I normally do is I will turn it on and then apply some face product on the face. Then this will be pretty much ready. Let me get a little bit more on the face. And another reason I really like this device is you don't have to use oil because a lot of a face lifting device, you really need to use fair big amount of oil to keep the smoothness in order to let the device actually maneuver on your face. But this one, as long as your face is not completely dry, it works perfectly on the face. See this idea? Just like this. You don't have to use too much product. And it's so nice to use, especially in the winter time, because it's heated and very, very smooth. And it's very gentle even to be used on the under eye area. It's just so nice. And very, very effective. You see, we I only done like a few times in each area and there is no cutting here. Can you guys see? This side going up compared to this side. Do you feel my half face kind of shrunk in? Right? Okay, let's see this side as well. And this is so comfortable to use. It doesn't have those electric shock stuff like you pulling your muscle inside muscle like that, deep muscle. Um, yeah, for that one, I just feel this is way much more comfortable to use. Hence, I use this on a daily basis, use in the morning as well as in the evening. See? And between the nose, to do like that. Forehead, just moving upwards. 
and it's so easy to clean. I just use the tissue to wipe off the surface. Job done. Highly, highly recommend. You don't have to go for this brand, but if you have challenges like me, if you drink water before sleep, especially, you always get a little bit of puffy in the morning. Highly recommend to search some devices like this. This one is cheap as well. It's not that dear. Amazon, I think, would have something similar. Next. Next one has absolutely saved my life since I had my skin broken down. This is appeared in my last video as well. I was already very impressed on first impression. It's from Fanny um, Elvis. It is their powder, my color NU00. Oh my God, this powder is so good. While I had skin breaking down, I couldn't use foundations, but I need somehow to make me a little bit presentable <laughs> because I still need to take my little one out. Like today, I only used concealers just to cover my acne spots and then I just apply this powder. This powder, when you do the swatches, you don't feel it is that fine, if you know what I mean. But when you use it on the face, it's absolutely a wow fact. It's smoothing out, blur out everything and with a little bit of coverage, not too much. Otherwise, it will look a little bit too, like, cakey. This too has very similar finish, actually. Uh, Makeup for everyone, my one is Y215, but this one for my, like, summer skin now is a, is a little bit bright. Uh, besides, I have the acne conditions, so I prefer to use something that matches my skin better, which is uh, found the Elf's one. Let's see the miracle of this powder again. Zoom you in. See? Do you feel this area just adds as a filter? How smooth it is. It, it blurs the pores so well. Look, compared to this side. It helps a little bit like blurring effect on the acne marks. Uh, obviously, I didn't add too much uh, concealer per se as um, uh, I'm not using foundation at the same time. I don't want my look looks too flawless. So even with a little bit of, you know, visible hint marks over there, when you have like normal distance like this, would be totally acceptable. And you see this too. This side just feel like added the filter, right? And see this side. Although it has the glow, if you dry skin, you probably like this, but for me, I prefer this side. This powder, I have to say, it absolutely matches its adverse and matches its all reviews that I've seen on TikTok. If you are acne skin, especially, if you are acne skin or oily skin, I highly, highly recommend to try out this powder. This powder can last on my face up to five hours, no need to touch up at all at all. There were only teeny oil coming out on my forehead and there isn't much surround my nose where I normally have quite a bit of face oil out. Up to five hours on a combined oily skin is really, really good. And I only need a teeny touch up after five, six hours and then it can continuously last for additional five, six hours. It's just so amazing. Off camera, I use this eyeshadow palette the most from 3CE. It is called Overtake. I bought this one long time ago, like last year. I used the pink palette more than this one because originally when I look at the color, I just feel it's like a little bit too common. But the reason why I use the back to this palette, I just feel like it is common in a way that's so easy to use but very very effective <laughs> if you're beginners like a natural day look however prefer sometime a little bit more smoky eyes this one palette can do everything for you <laughs> this one is very very practical very easy to use the color combination in this palette is absolutely a no-brainer as well just use a lighter color as base and then choose second darker color as the main color, then define with the darkest 
like brown burgundy color over here top up with any shimmer colors you prefer that day drop down see the eye look is pretty much done very simple straightforward and all the colors from this palette are very much friendly for puffy eyes and also hooded eyes to be honest if you are hooded eyes you will need some colors like this to help you adjust your eye shape and it doesn't look dirty if you know what I mean and recently I find another good liquid eyeliner which is from a brand called Kazlan Kazlan if I mention the Chinese name I think you guys are probably familiar with this brand if you're Chinese you definitely know Kazlan it's kind of like a um, old brother big brother in the Chinese makeup world it is really really good liquid liner on my eyelid it lasts long easy to maneuver the pigmentation is really good and the most importantly is the tip oh by the way let me get the full name first it's called the long lasting liquid eyeliner and my color i think is called dark brown and have a look the tip personally I feel it is a slightly tiny slightly longer than like a standard one it is hard enough for you to be steadily draw out wing at the same time it is soft enough which doesn't poke your eyelid that's something i really like see oh can you guys see how slim this line And this I also find is very, very easy to draw fake lashes for the bottom eyes. See? The pigmentation is really good and it's very smooth. There is no like unevenness on this. Let me zoom you in again. See? It's very smooth. And this would work very friendly, especially if you have a fairly thin eyelid. My eyelid is a thick eyelid. If you are hooded eyes or you have a very thin eyelid, which you have less white area inside of your waterline, that means you have thin eyelid. This type of liquid eyeliner is very, very friendly for you. compare this to see how easy to draw the wing see how smooth the wing is and I only use one hand and that's how steady performed on your eyelid look and this one on my eyelid is Smudge proof. Let me grab some water. <laughs> Just spray it into my eyes. Waterproof as well. So on my eyes, it's pretty much just a state as it is. Uh, I don't need touch up afterwards. But again, eyelid. Everyone has a different eyelid, but if you are struggling to find perfect one for you, this is another one I discovered that stayed very long, long lasting as is named on my eyelid. So cast like this one. And I really like this color. This is a dark brown, but more towards black, but it's not completely black. Because for my skin tone, if I use a black one for natural day look, it's a little bit too strong. But if for a dark brown, when it goes to too, you know, muddy brown, too much brown color in there, it will also look, how to say, it doesn't define my eye as better as this type of brown. So it's dark brown, dark, dark brown, towards black brown, if you know what I mean. Now is the complete of my makeup. No foundation, by the way. 
Hope you liked today's video. Enjoy my recent favorites. If you have any new discoveries, please do leave your comments down below. Would love to see them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on my next video.